Well, now let's see uh, the various auto workflow. This is basically a representation of the auto journey from content discovery, from making the research, then finding a journal where to publish, preparing an article, and then submission. So um, just wanted to let you know, you may uh, have to request authorization to uh, be funded uh, for your article at different stages, depending on whether the uh, article will be published on a gold open access journal or a hybrid journal. So when you submit an article to a fully gold open access or Hindawi, you must be authorized your APC to be covered at the submission stage. So uh, that's when you have to let the publisher know that your APC will be paid by your institutional account. For hybrid open access publication, you'll see uh, the second box, publication, uh, uh, you know, for the hybrid journals, you will submit your request for funding after your article has been accepted from editorial peer review, all right? So you already know that your article has been accepted and that will publish. There are different types of auto workflow. So let's start with uh, the hybrid journals that are basically the majority of the journals uh, that make up uh, your collections of journals in the contract. I will show you here what happens when you need to uh, publish an article in a hybrid journal and you want to be funded by um, Baptist Hong Kong University. Now, what it happens is that when you receive your email from the publisher containing the good news that your article has been accepted for publication, you will see a customized uh, message here. Well, in this case, it's of course for Karolinska Institute, but here you will find your institution. So this message will actually notify you that this specific article that has been accepted for publication is eligible for being funded by your institution. So you know straight away that there is a way for you not to pay the APC in case you want to go ahead and publish the article open access in the hybrid journal. The first thing that you need to do after celebrating, of course, because you know that uh, the acceptance rates in uh, widely journals on average are pretty low. I think uh, it's in the range of 20% acceptance rate, right? So it's not that easy at all to get your article published in, in Wiley journal. So, after celebrating, the first thing you need to do is log in to author services using your credentials. Go to My Articles, and here you will see all of the articles that require an action on your site. So you'll see Action Required here, and you have a button that will allow you to take action and move forward with the publication of the articles. Thanks to the agreement that you currently have right now, Besides signing the license, which is something that you normally do, that you also uh, see a message that shows you that this article is eligible for open access through your institution at no fee. All right, if you push the red button, you will then move to the next step, which is actually the first step. It's confirming your role as an author. So what happens here? is that the list of corresponding authors will show up as they are being entered in the submission file. And now you have two options here. You can click on the confirm corresponding author button or click on the list is incorrect. If you need to make any change, you can click on the link, the list is incorrect, and you can do those changes by yourself. In some cases, you need customer support to fix the problem. 
Otherwise, if you just confirm you are the corresponding author, or if you wish to add some other authors in the list as corresponding authors, you can do that. And once you have done your selection, you can click on confirm corresponding author. What happens if you click uh, the list is incorrect? Well, you will see a list of options here. So what is the problem? And according to what you choose here, you can either make the changes yourself or you need to stop and wait for custom support to intervene. Let me just give you uh, some more additional examples. If you choose the list is out of order or an author has changed their name or one or more names are spelled or formatted incorrectly, the author sees this confirmation screen before proceeding and then you can just click on the confirm button, go ahead, make the changes yourself and move forward. But if you choose one or more authors are missing, so that's a serious problem here. Someone is listed as an author but should not be listed or something else is wrong, then you get this message and you need to stop and wait for customer support to get in contact with you and fix the problem. Now let's go back to the list of corresponding authors. You will see here a message will appear showing you the, the eligibility for being funded. You will see here the list of authors, the list of corresponding authors. You may be seeing a padlock icon here next to the author. The presence of, of a padlock icon means that the author's affiliation has a contract with Wiley for covering the APC costs. The responsible corresponding author is the only person responsible for signing the license and whose affiliation will be used to determine the eligibility. So you can either confirm yourself or you can change and nominate someone else. If you do that, like in this case, uh, basically Anat Benstein doesn't have a padlock icon and decides to nominate Hagar Signer as responsible corresponding author. So in this case, when you do the change, you get this confirmation screen. Once you do that and confirm the change, the author workflow stops for you and the new nominated responsible corresponding author will be notified by email and then he or she will be the person that moves to step two, which is confirming the information regarding funders and grants details. So now what you have to do here is just to confirm that the information that uh, has been entered in the submission file is correct. You also have an opportunity to edit, add additional um, funders, or change or add additional grants that you have used for this research and then click on the button confirm and proceed and then once you've done that you can move to step three which is confirming your affiliation um, it is the affiliation that triggers the eligibility so it's very important that you enter your affiliation correctly and when your affiliation is recognized by the, by the Ringo database, you get this green bar here and you get this text verified. It means that your affiliation has been recognized. And then at this time, you can just click on the button confirm and proceed. Or alternatively, you can also add more than an affiliation if you are affiliated to multiple institutions. Now, once that you have entered your affiliation and your affiliation has been recognized and your affiliation has a contract with Wiley, you get this message again notifying you that your article is eligible for open access through your institution, no fee. If there is a problem with uh, the recognition of your affiliation because maybe you have entered a wrong affiliation or your affiliation has changed name or for some reasons, it hasn't been recognized by the Ringo database. Now it's a time for you to manually enter the name of your affiliation. Bear in mind that you cannot continue the workflow and you can't publish your article 
until you have provided a valid affiliation. Now, in case you have entered multiple affiliations, the system will ask you to choose just one affiliation. Normally, you know, the, the criteria that we use is where did you spend the most time researching your article? Once that you have selected the affiliation that you want to use for publishing your article, if there is a contract with your institutions, uh, there's going to be a purple box notifying that institution has the contract with Wiley. And then the next step is choosing the copyright ownership for this article. So you have a selection to be made. Those are the options available. You make your selection and then you move to the next step, which is uh, confirming your open access option. So basically, there is a button here, as you can see on the right hand side, which is more prominent and that will allow you to make your article open access. You can still opt out. As a matter of fact, on the left hand side here, there is a link, keep my article subscription only. So there is a possibility to just publish the article subscription only. If you do click on the link, you, you'll get a pop-up that will remind you of the benefits of publishing open access and will remind you of what you're missing out. You know, if you continue to go ahead and confirm that you want to publish the article open access, you will receive a message within 24 hours just to make sure that you are aware it is an irreversible decision. And that's why we want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. Next step is license agreement types. So you need to select which CC by license you want to use for your articles. And you have here a recap that will show you what you can do and what you can't do for each type of license. After you've done your selection, you just uh, need to submit your license and that's the last step. You read the license agreement and you click the box that you agree and you sign the license and you submit your order. And then when everything has gone smoothly, you will get this message that acknowledges the fact that your license and your order, it means your request for funding the APC, has been successfully submitted. So your library manager will receive your request for paying the APC for this specific article. And it is your library manager responsibility to approve your request. Once your request gets approved, you receive an email that will just notify that your request has been approved. In case your request gets denied, you will get an email that shows you why your article request got denied. Let me just show you now what happens when you have an article that you need to submit to a gold open access journal. So the author workflow is more straightforward. What you need to do is uh, when you submit your manuscript to an open access journal, you must indicate your affiliation with a Wiley open access account in the payment question. So this is exactly what happens when you submit your article via Scholar One, Editorial Manager. There is a question here, who will pay? You need to actually choose the first option. My institution or funder has an agreement with Wiley and may pay the office article charge. And then you need to click on the account code tool and you need to actually find what is the code that is associated to your institution. So if you click on the account code tool, you will actually open up um, a window where you need to select your country and then select your account. So here you will see that when you select your country, you'll see Baptist Hong Kong University and then You'll click on it. Once you have selected your account, you will see the code here. And then you have a button that will allow you to just copy the code and paste it into the payment question. Once that you have done that, you will receive notification that your request to use the Wiley Open Access account has been approved. So obviously your library manager must approve your request. Uh, and this happens at submission. 
So you still don't know whether your article will be accepted or not, but your approval manager must basically approve your APC fund request right now at the submission stage. This is the email that you receive when your request has been approved by the library manager. After the editorial process takes place, and if the article gets accepted, then you just need to sign the license agreement. So no payment steps are necessary. And then what happens is when you log into your author services dashboard, you will see your article and you will see already the open access uh, icon here. And you just basically need to sign the license and that's it. And that's the end of the workflow. Now, with regard to Hindawi journals, things are much easier because you don't have to find your institution, find your code. The only thing you need to do for the Hindawi journals is you need to input all authors on paper. And in this step, that eligibility is triggered. Now, the system only allows one corresponding author to be labeled here. So each author can only add one affiliation. And this is what happens. So this is the submission process in the Hindawi journal. So the corresponding authors submitting an article to Hindawi journals need to type in and declare their affiliation institution at the submission stage. And if there is a match to an institution with an existing account with Wiley, their open access APC will be routed according. So you see here, it is very important that you enter your affiliation so that it can be recognized as an affiliation being part of a Wiley transformative agreement contract. After that, your request will be sent to the approval manager and once it gets approved you'll receive the, the usual email that notifies your request has been approved.